right, so I want this to put spare parts in. And I say spare, but really it's put parts in. <laughs> Nothing spare about it. So first order business, what I'm going to do is replicate this truck for Buddy. Uh, to replicate his grandpa's logging truck. So first thing I want to do is remove this drive shaft, get it out of the way. Boop. So the sleeper does not exist on said truck. Therefore it does not exist on this truck. So sleeper go bye bye. That's not a that is actually gonna be a spare part now. Bonus. Alright. What I'm left with here actually pretty closely resembles the truck I'm replicating. Uh, it's the same model. So there's the truck. So it's extremely close. So things I'm still need to do. The visor has got to go. It does not have one. Other than that, it's got the tank. I can't tell if it's got the door window or not because it's dirty here and it's an older file. It kind of looks like it's there. So I think we'll end up leaving that. Um, other than that, the wheelbase looks appropriate once it has that sleeper gone. Um, the hood's appropriate. It's the same model truck. Bumper's correct. Same thing. Uh, what's hard to tell though is it looks like there's a headache rack in the back and I can't quite make out a whole lot about it, but I'm sure I can search some more internet and find an appropriate uh, match for that. So, um, the next step is going to be uh, painting. To paint, I have to strip it. To strip it, I have to get all of the plastic bits off and hopefully, hopefully not break any. So, to get this cab and hood off, is going to be a little bit of a trick for me. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, this is not your typical DCP truck. This is, I forget what one, maybe Tonkin or something like that. Different though, not DCP. So um, it's not necessarily the same. It almost looks as if the cab just has a hook here. But I'm also wondering if it doesn't have a screw somewhere because this transmission piece here and this lower motor, it looks as if it may be separate. There is. So there's a gap. So this piece is separate. So that could be hiding screws that then go up and under something potentially that the cab screws to. Let's take some little needle nose and try and be somewhat graceful here all right there's a mirror off so what i'm doing is i'm just cinching down on it so i don't slide on the plastic and i'm essentially prying up on it to, to pop it out of those little holes and we got that. Now, I have these horns. Let's get those off as well. Um, so I'm gonna try and get this underneath it. And just carefully, 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 same like the mirrors, pop this little plastic up out of here without much, uh. There we go. There's one horn out. Safely too, might I add. Two horns out. There we go. It was actually just glued flat on there. Now, for the hood, I don't want to damage this before I take it apart either. Let's get that off of there the same way I just did that other stuff. Just slowly rotate 
the flathead and walk it up out of there. There we go. All right, we got that out of there. Now for these, I want to be able to get at the back side. Uh, these are glued on here, but they also run up to the front. So I'm not sure if there's more glue elsewhere. Let's uh, find out. It appears there's a big lump of some kind of epoxy here or glue maybe. I'm not sure. Let's try the same thing. Try to just gently crack them loose. Okay, so there's some little uh, things in there as well as the big glue. It appears that near the front of the cab it's retained probably by a little more glue. Alright, now I'm going to gently try and pop it towards me. Oh, there we go. Alright, there's one stack off. Now that I think about it. Alright. There we go. Now let's carefully get that one out. All right, next thing. Now I can get my big fat fingers in here better without breaking little plastics. Let's try and separate this bumper again. All right, now the plastic remained clear of all the glue. Let's try and pop this uh, air tank off of here the air filter box I believe there we go this really does look as if it's one piece Let's give it a little, a little bit of a, see if we hear any cracking. Yep. Whew. That sucker went. Where'd the motor, oh, there it is. <laughs> Woo. All right, now we can clearly see that underneath is a separate piece that's also glued on. So let's uh, get that separated. And it's loose. There we go. No ice. Now we have access to said screw. Let's get this cab off of here. That's not a screwdriver. That's a screwdriver, mate. All right, I don't want to lose the screw. Let's see if I can't dump it. There we go. Cab off. Beautiful. All right, now. Now that I have this cab off, let's finish taking apart its plastics. So my goal is oop, not to scratch windows, just to run this through. Make sure that there's no glue still retaining it. All right. Now we have this interior piece here. Alright, there's our door card. Now we have the windows. Let's try and pick up on the windows. Oh yeah, we're going somewhere. Alright. Yep, and right in there is obviously where it's glued still. Alright, there we go. So those are the ones that need to come out first. This is very different than a DCP. A DCP 
uh, isn't typically this way. So there we go. Those windows out. With that, the back window comes right out, as does the windshield. All right, there's one. Not to crack loose, I'm just trying to wiggle them out. There we go, and there's two. All right, and now hood off. So let's see if like everything else, they'll just kind of pop out. Typically I gotta push from the back. I wanna make sure there's nothing from this side that I can get that's holding it in. Because if I chip off part of the outside part, then we're, we're up a creek. Oh, there we go, right out. Now, mine's gonna be a different color, and this still has some of that black glued onto it. Let's chip that glue off very carefully. Now, as I suspected, there's two little spots where these lights poke through. Those lights are extremely small. I do not want to damage them. So I am going to poke, try and poke them back through. All right, there's one. And... Two. All right, just like the others, I want to make sure that I get all this wrong color stuff off of it and that I can see it all the way. Let's try and unglue. Oh, this one's super easy. The DCPs usually put up quite a fight. All right, and that's that. Now my hood and my cab are ready to be stripped. So let's get those in there. Let's get them in there in such a manner that there's no flat surface, not getting stuff. And let's get enough acetone to cover the surface. So you can clearly see it is in fact dirty acetone. <laughs> should eat all this stuff right off of it much like it appears to be doing now the goal is let it sit in there for a while soak let this last bit soften up some more and then we'll scrape it clean all right so this uh cab's been sitting in here for quite a while the cab in the hood let's uh see if we can't get it out of here All right, now if you look, it's got this white primer still all over it. Comes off super easy. Nothing to it but to do it. All right, let's wipe all this stuff off of it now so it doesn't leave any of this residue from the dirty stuff in there. And we'll really wipe it off later, but for now I just don't want it drying on there. Now we have one beautifully stripped cab of, uh, I'm not sure what year, but an old uh, I think international truck, maybe 70s, maybe. Um, ready for his new paint. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna have to wait on primer. So let's just sit here, let it dry up real good before I go and put it with the rest of the parts, just to make sure um, there's no acetone, acetone 
uh, fumes on it that will get trapped in there and melt the plastics. Uh, so that's it for today. See you next time. Bop 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 b